card. Everybody gets one. I will uh, give them to you in a second. And you can just write your name and your favorite color. And there's some assignments like favorite hobby, favorite instruments, like really basic stuff. And I think it's about writing them or drawing no, them. Drawing. Drawing. We cannot communicate with the uh, children. Yeah. And the kids will have the same one. So the idea we will give them to them. And we can we will draw them at the same time, write our names, favorite color and favorite animal or whatever. So that we have a way of interacting with the children as an icebreaker. I was um, visiting a primary school in uh, Antakya, which was uh, still standing after the earthquake. So you could actually see what the elementary school looks like in this province. Yeah, it's always nice to learn them where we are from. And I showed them pictures of the Netherlands, and they were like, oh, that's so pretty. And I was like, I, I, I don't know if that's pretty, but of course it's another perspective. Merhaba çocuklar, hoş geldiniz. Nasılsınız? Burada mesela Julie var, görüyor musunuz? Julie ismini yazmış, en sevdiği rengi yazmış, en sevdiği yemeği yazmış. Siz de kendi kağıdınızdaki en sevdiğiniz rengi, isminizi yazarak birbirinizle tanışacaksınız. Ondan sonra, bakın burada, burada bir plan görüyoruz değil mi? Mi mimarlar nedir? Mimarlar ne yapar? <gülüyor> Efendim? <gülüyor> What is your uh, height? Bir seksen dört. Today is a big day, maybe the biggest day, and uh, yeah, I'm very excited to see what how it goes. The, what was the highlight of yesterday? The highlight of yesterday, um, I think I really like uh, interacting with the kids, even though I'm not a, I'm not a child person at all. Uh, I really liked it. It was very heartwarming, and uh, I also like the nature hike because I think after such like an intense like program, uh, like nature is always like always helps, you know, distress. Um, it was very nice. It was very nice to uh, connect with the children. It was very nice to, um, yeah, see see how happy they are for the circumstances they are living in. Uh, and it was very sweet to see all the the dreams they have. They were very interested in the students. They were very interested in uh, build it, like designing a school. There were there was even a child that wanted to become an architect um, which was very fun and I loved to see also the students very much interacting uh, with uh, although there was a language barrier a, a big one um, uh, Google sponsor us you made you did a great job by uh, by using translate there was there was so many deep connections uh, were built um, and I hope this connection uh, yeah that, that people really Get, got something out of this uh, visit uh, and hopefully uh, take something for them to home, back home to Amsterdam or the Netherlands. Take something back home to, uh, to the Netherlands. <laughs> İki, bir.
Birinci Antakya bütün medeniyetlerden aldığı birikimi e, kullanan bir kent, e, şehirdi. Yani turizmle, e, ovalarını Yükselişte. ekip bir... En yükselişte olduğu dönemde, şimdi o yediyi de kaybettik. Sekizinci Antakya bilemiyorum nasıl olacağım. Ben o Antakya'ya ait değilim. Benim de dönemim kapandı. Ee, siz taşınmayı mı düşünüyorsunuz? Yani... Yani taşınmasa kalanlar da mesela abim de anlatan da bu artık o 8. Antakya'ya ait değil. Değiliz. Birileri gelecek. Bir ticaret kenti mi olacak? Kültür kenti mi olacak? Turizm kenti mi olacak? Bilmiyoruz. Küçülecek. Ee, şimdi Yahudi o cemaatimizden bir kişi bile şehirde değil. Benim Şahul abim yok, Azur abim yok. Ben ne yapayım? Bütün Antakya'ya triplex verseler, hepimize birer yalı verseler ben ne yapayım bu şehirde? Yok. The two days were very exhausting, also because we were now just had like two hours of sleep, getting into the buses at four o'clock in the morning. Um, but I think it was good that we had a very dense program, so we could learn from a lot of people. Um, we heard a lot of um, interesting stories, also very moving stories, um, and I think it's something we will take back home for our design and um, will very much influence what we do later on and I think um, I already feel like before coming here I had um, of course I knew what was going on but it is so different to see all the people that experienced it and um, what they had to say about the situation so I think it was um, yeah I think the two days were a success How was the trip? Um, very uh, intense. Like we did a lot. These last two days felt like a whole week. So <laughs> that says that we did do a lot of things and um, some really surprising things as well. Uh, and it got really close. Um, but we also had a lot of fun together. So it was like a good mix of, of uh, emotions. I think. In general, just a very unique experience, um, like going to such a place that is uh, uh, hit by a devastating uh, earthquake is is quite uh, um, a weird experience. Um, and we're also like a whole year later, uh, so it's like different than right before or like five years after. So we're kind of in a process phase, um, but it's really, really um, interesting to to be part of this. <laughs> Should I start again? Okay. So the moment that got stuck to me the most, I think, was when we had the talk with the historian. He showed us the devastation that happened. He uh, mentioned the amount of people that uh, lost their homes, lost their lives, and that there were still people missing. And we were mainly talking about buildings. But uh, when we were, when I was alone with the uh, engineer, there was another engineer with us, his friend came along and his friend uh, was, looked really lost and really devastated. He told about, uh, I used to live here, my home is now gone. And you could see the, the, the look in his eyes that he was lost. And I, it was just too much for me. Um, I, I just needed to get away from the situation. It was too emotional. Like it's not ab just about buildings; it's about human lives. And I think that's something that really got stuck uh, there. And uh, I just needed like a moment on my own because we're there, like as students trying to. Uh, understand the situation but it's it's not just about buildings uh, anymore when it gets so close to you what three words did you start um, how was the trip for you intense um, as i was just saying 
it feels like it hasn't really like sunk down on me and I'm not really realizing yet what has happened so um, it's hard to put like words on it and to yeah really kind of like realize how I'm feeling about it but like last night when I was trying to fall asleep I had like a lot of like like visions of it in my head of the areas and the rocks where you were walking on and the rubble uh, and I couldn't really get that out of my head so what went through your mind um, how many people had died there and are still missing and are probably like somewhere around the rubble over there and you're just like walking just yeah on top of the rubble, yeah. It's bit, um, because um, the story was obviously very personal, and when you first see the objects, and then you hear a story, um, like one by one, then it just becomes really real, and you almost feel like a little guilty that. You wouldn't, you didn't expect it to be that hard because, like, it's like ignorance is bliss almost. So yeah, I think that's. Um, but also a positive thing: P Turkish people are very hopeful and very positive. That was very nice, though. So.